was just there. The camera ran out of battery because I didn't think to charge it like an idiot and I thought, oh, you know, one of the videos last time, I looked at the bar, I thought two out of three, two thirds, that's plenty, but no. No, 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 that wasn't enough and it cut out, but oh well, we're back. Unfortunately, lost the natural light, um, so we're back to back to the room lights, but oh well. We were talking about the foul scope and when I left, um, pretty much covered that. Uh, well, looks of it, the, I had a look at the instruction manual in a bit more detail now. And basically, and it's, fa it's fairly involved. It's surprising you've got to take the entire lower receiver off to put this thing on, uh, which is a shame, but oh well. Um, it's looking like it will be a very worthy addition to the foul once I've installed it. The, the main reason, and, and like I said, the reason for doing these videos is to explain why I've bought various things. The main reason for this is that it's pretty much your only option for mounting optics on a, a foul. Um, otherwise you've only got your eyesights. If you just, if you personally just use eyesights, well yeah, don't bother, but <laughs> um, I, for myself, as I mentioned before, I use things like ACOGs or I've got a replica of the uh, Elcan Spectre um, or I'll use a red dot with a magnifier, that sort of thing. So for me, I really need a bit of a 20 mil rail on top of whatever gun I'm using. And this fits that bill nicely. So, yeah, got a, uh, I think, yeah, well, WGC had a not bad price on it, I have to say, so I went with that, and that will be a nice addition to the gun. That will make it a lot more skirmish practical, I think. Uh, on the rest, we'll go to leave the AK stuff now. Look at the DITAC holster. Um, the only other DITAC product I've had before was a mount they did for a T1 red dot, um, which was okay. It didn't lock terribly tightly onto most rails I tried. Um, and the spec of where the screw holes were for screwing the actual optic to the mount were a bit off. Um, so it, it works, it does work, but not massively impressed. So let's have the first thing. First thing I notice is there's a few little bubbles and sticky out bits in the plastic, which is a shame. It's not, you know, but then again. I wouldn't be expecting black up quality with this. It didn't cost very much. The multicam, I think, is not bad at all. Actually, got the, the holster itself. This one, as I say, is for the Glock series of pistols. As I say, what kind of Glock? No. But if you've got a 17, probably an 18C will go in this as well. Comes with two kinds of mount. These, uh, you've got the belt paddle and the sort of more adjustable belt mount there, both of them. Uh, and hopefully this will attach to the various other Black Hawks accessories. As long as these three screws here are in the right places, they'll this will bolt right onto all the other Black Hawk things, the, uh, the mole attachment panel, the drop leg panel, the QD mounting kits. The QD kits are the main thing I'm concerned with. Um, so yeah, fingers crossed for that. Good stiff spring on the tree guard, probably a bit too stiff for that. Very, you're gonna you have to push quite hard, whereas a black up one just comes out smoothly, but I'm sure that's something we can survive. The plastic feels a bit brittle, so I'm not gonna try and snap it just to prove that. But then again, it's, it's, it's tough enough. You can uh, tell they've definitely got the official Multicam stuff because it's even got the word just on there, you probably not see it, but trust me it's there. The dipping isn't bad at all, it must be said. Both the mounts have been dipped as well. Yeah, and I would, at an initial glance, I reckon this surface finish should last fairly well. Doesn't it? No, nothing. So, yeah, looking good on that front. We shall see how they, how this will, I don't know why I said they, there's only one, it's not plural. And we'll see how this does when I try and fit my KWA Glock 18C into there. Might buy a 17. But yeah, I, I need a Glock Serpa for when I'm using 
my block, <laughs> surprisingly. Um, yeah, and uh, this was a fair bit cheaper than the Black Hawk one. Um, whether it will have been worth that cost saving, we shall see. We shall see. And then that's out for judgment at the moment. But yeah, it's something a little bit different than normal plain colours the Black Hawk usually does. Uh, the AK side rail, this is an LCT one because couldn't really find many other brands in stock. Comes with rail itself. Now LCT, as you probably most you know, they make pretty high quality stuff. Fortunately I don't have a magnet here to test it, but you can see all the machining marks on it, all the little circles where it's been done. It is very nicely cut, it must be said. Very few blemishes on there. Got the screw holes, three, three uh, Allen screws. So, as I mentioned in the AK video, and as I was talking about there before with the foul scope mount, I, I need, really, for me, when I'm skirmishing, I need somewhere to mount an optic near my eye, so near the rear of the gun. And in order to do that on an AK, you pretty much need to get have one of these side rails and then one of the mounts that locks onto it and it gives you a little bit of a rail on the top of the gun just to the rear of the top cover. So that's a good quality bit of metal there, comes with the screws you'll need. Um, I'm, not sure, <laughs> I'm not sure which of the LCT guns, the LCT AKs happens to have three threaded holes ready to, for this to just bolt onto. Unfortunately, my King Arms definitely doesn't have that, but I will be drilling my own holes in the receiver, possibly using some liquid metal or super glue or putting some rivets. I'm, I'm, not, I'm undecided as of yet, but I'll get it to stick on somehow. And finally, on to the bit, the Marmite part of the uh, video. This is the front end adapter by option for AKs that allows you to put basically an M4 outer barrel and an M4 handguard or AR-15 as it were uh, onto an AK with a TM spec body so that's TM guns, some Simers at the King Arms uh, and that's it I think uh, but yeah any of those, buy yourself one of these I, think I first saw them on eHobby Asia, they're now out of stock and WGC had some in luckily and I've got one in, uh, about 40 50 dollars ish um, it's actually action is I'm not sure what kind of a company they are they do a variety of products at varying sort of price levels generally the cheaper end so I would have assumed they're Chinese but this bit of metal does not look your typical Chinese made stuff at all it's actually really smooth there's no sort of casting flash as it were you know nasty bits of metal sticking out it's actually very neat, very, very neat bit of machining. So that's nice. As you can see up the front there, you've got your thread that your barrel nut goes in onto. So if you're using a standard barrel nut and a delta ring and you're just using like the MOE handguards or standard plastic handguards, you just buy yourself an AR-15 outer barrel onto there, a delta ring and barrel nut set, screw it down, put on your front sight gas block, pop your handguards on and there you go got an M4 front uh, on your AK. Just take out the normal trunnion block that the rear sight mounts onto. This has got a rear sight with it. But it doesn't lock in the, in the deployed position properly. Which is, although I'm not sure what's going on with that. But oh well, um, it, it has a, some, I'm not very familiar with AK sights, but it's got a folding sight thingy there. Uh, whether, how nicely this fits into the King Arms AK, we shall see. It's going to certainly look an interesting gun once I've changed that. Comes with a couple extra bits, which are really, really solidly bubble wrapped. Uh -huh. Now, this, let's have a look at the instructions here. That's a good thing to you. Barrel adapter. Yeah, this is the barrel adapter. And what it adapts to, let me read and try and look. I don't know. From what I've read, 
these doesn't look like these instructions say what they are designed to adapt to. Possibly for, possibly this is something that's required for you to fit to your AR-15 outer barrel. I'm not entirely certain. Yeah, by the looks of it, it is. Yeah, you need that bit for installing your AR-15 barrel onto your AK. Or is it, what's it for the AK barrels? Yes, I think it possibly is. Yeah. This bit is actually for your AK outer barrels, as far as I can make out from this and from the description I read on eHobby's website. If you want to, instead of having buying a, uh, an AR-15 outer barrel, you can just use this, keep the AK outer barrel, and with this part, you won't have to buy a new one. So there's that. And basically what this kit is aimed at is you using the same outer barrel, because this gas block here, it's also aimed at fitting to AK outer barrels. So there's a little spring pin there which will be holding your fake gas tube in. Uh, and it's just a plain octagonal gas block that will bolt onto your standard AK-47 length outer barrel. So yeah, I did that because why I bought this, basically, um, as I mentioned in the King Arms AK video of the UN company unboxing. Um, I just wanted to make an AK that's different really and just sort of annoy some purists to tell, to, uh, tell the truth, to be honest about it. Um, it's a project I've been having in mind for a while. I mean, it, it, to really, really be honest, it's more because in Airsoft, the part I enjoy is taking a set of Allen keys and a set of screwdrivers and some pin punches and a hammer and just taking those apart just putting loads of different stuff and new stuff onto it and this is just really going to be fun for me taking that whole front end off I have to be doing a bit of work possibly cutting some things by the looks of it install this buy my M4 parts they are 15 bits I'm not sure what hand I'll be going with yet probably a free float rail as they look a lot better bolt that onto here 16 inch out of barrel I'm thinking of um, a low profile gas block possibly a Noveski uh, rail handguard and then the M4 stock tube adapter as well but that will be buying next month so I'll be doing a video of that in about a month from now I don't know. yeah that's that, it's the action adapter but yeah, but yeah um, that is my big box of stuff from WGC um, I'll be uploading this in various bits as per normal as I did the last couple of videos because YouTube sadly only lets you do 15 minutes at a time which is a shame uh, why that rule is again who knows I mean if I if I upload three videos of 15 minutes what's the difference to them if I just put on one 45 minute video your guess is as good as mine folks but hopefully my uh, reasoning has made at least some sense to you guys out there and you'll uh, have seen some interesting stuff so cheers for watching as per usual if you want to subscribe or leave comments or leave them channel comment whatever just it's all up to you um, I think these videos are mainly they're more aimed at the newer player probably but then I, I try and put in information that people even if they've been doing it 10 years or 15 years could possibly learn from depending on what knowledge they already have but yeah um, if, you, if you'd like to keep up then click that button where I'm sure I'm still not sure which side it is or just go to my channel and hit favourite on your internet browser if you would like I'll be doing a lot more videos as time goes by I'll be doing well there's a lot <laughs> there's a lot of possibilities with Airsoft let's be honest I'm, as some of you will possibly see if you check out my channel and check out my upload so far so far so far uh, I've done quite a variety of stuff so far and that will probably continue I'm going to be planning on doing there will be a lot more of these type stuff just unboxing videos but yeah I hope you've uh, all enjoyed watching hopefully you'll come back next time so uh, yeah cheers <laughs>